how to make transparent and sticky header and Shopify down theme. Hi there, today we will be learning about how to create a transparent and a sticky header here using a Dawn theme in creating your online store in Shopify. First, to begin here, you can open your Shopify account and just click on Customize on your online store theme. And here you can see that when you click on the header, this is the top part of the screen. You'll be able to see that there's an option for a sticker, sticky header on the right side panel of the screen. And you have the option here to choose from that. You can have a sticky header always so that when you scroll down and browse into the informations and the products you have, your customers will still be able to see the header. So you can definitely modify that depending on how you would like it here. So you can browse into the other details here on the right side panel for you to be able to customize the header for your online story. So once you have enabled the sticky header, you can actually click on save that's on the upper right corner of the screen and you will see when you preview your online store, when you scroll down, the sticky header or the header sticks in place or it always shows up at the top part of the screen. So the next thing that we will do is that we need the header to be transparent. In order for us to do that is we need to go into this website where you can search for the transparent sticky header on your browser in Don theme. And you just need to look for the link that says or that's using webs sense pro or that's what sense of pro so that you will be able to get these codes all you actually have to do so that your header would become transparent is to follow the instructions from that website and you can simply go to your themes here on the right side left side panel of the screen and click on the three dots and go to edit code you just need to follow all these instructions. So the first thing that we will do is go to header liquid. That's found under sections. Once we are able to find the header liquid, what we need to do is click anywhere or one of the lines on the header and then look for the header class header code or you can look into this code here that's this is what we will be replacing with the code below so we need to go back to our edit code page and what you can do is click anywhere here on the codes and then just click on Control F on your keyboard and you will be able or you just need to type in the header or the code that was provided in the website, the first code given. We just need to look for that and then we need to click on it and just replace it with the code given just right below where it indicates you need to replace that with the following. So you just need to look for it here. So you, you can actually copy the whole code and then paste it here on the box and then you will be able to find that easily as well. So here from here, you just need to click on that line that's under line 155. When you click on it, you can simply just copy the code given on the website, the second code.
You just need to copy the second code provided and then you will just need to click on save so that the asset or that specific code that you replaced it with will be um, successfully saved into your online store or online store here on Shopify. So here you just need to copy the code and then paste the code. You need to highlight everything under line 155 and then just paste the code that we copied from the website. Here and then once done, you can just go ahead and paste it and then go ahead and click and save. And then you will know that it's successful when there will be a pop up here at the bottom where it says asset saved. So in order for you to proceed here, you can look for the uh, website once again, uh, websensepro.com. You just need to follow the steps here and then keep on copy or looking where you look for the product or the code rather and then replace it with the code provided on the website. Here, so for example, here we look for details ID. You can simply search for the, um, the details ID into the word box here and then it will pro automatically provide you here the uh, um, information that is relating to details id so you just need to click on that since on the uh, code that we will be uh, changing the original one has two lines we actually just need to um, do this per line so that we will be able to make sure that we have the correct code for that specific part of the um, for that specific part of the uh, code that is given and so that we will be able to successfully create a transparent um, code or transparent header so here next step is we will be looking for details model class and we will be replacing it to the code given here look for it here just click on Control f and then find the code that is on the original code for the header liquid once you have found the code we then go ahead and copy the code from the website and paste it onto that specific line where you found the code. Here, the next thing that we will do is copy the, or we need to look for the, the line where it says schema. We will look for that line here. On 517 but sometimes it may go on a different part but it's just near that specific number that is given on the website but you just need to look for the bracket schema bracket symbol like this one above schema percentage and then schema then copy all of these codes here and then we will paste it right above the word schema and then from here we just click on save it's good that we will be saving every time we change a specific part of the code so that we will know which code that we replaced has a problem or an error so that we will be able to find that easily so here the next thing is the t sections we will be looking for this you need to keep in mind that with this um, T sections part, what you actually need to do is you need to paste the code after or right before the comma of the T sections that we are looking for. There are a lot of T sections, but you, for you to be able to get the correct one, you can copy the whole code 
and then just click on next and then here this is where we will be pasting the code just right below the t-sections la label so we will be pasting that if, it, if you encounter an error, make sure that you will be inputting the code after or before the comma. So currently, it's still on a sticky header for the website that, or the online store that we are creating. You need to make sure or read the phrase clearly. We will be putting the code below the T sections label so from here once we click on that we we will be directed to the correct line where we will be adding the code sometimes it's really confusing to use these codes especially if you're a beginner and you're not very familiar with using codes for creating a website or your online store here on Shopify. So the details actually below is for the Dawn 7.0, but we will just be sticking with the first Dawn that was provided on the website. So here we can go to theme liquid and then we will need to look for the code where it says body class gradient. Once we found that, we just need to replace it with the following code. And then copy or select all the contents on the line and paste the code and then click and save. Then it will show you that it's asset saved. So the last thing that we will do is the code for right before the theme liquid. We will need to redo that so that we will be able to make sure that we are successful with adding the code. Here. So when we click on the header, the header actually is not transparent yet. So maybe there's some code that we were not able to apply correctly. So we will go back to the page or the part on the website where we will be looking for or we will be editing the code once again. And then we will look for the on the right side panel of the screen here. You can see that there's actually an option that you will have the header transparent. That's the very or the topmost option on the um, website or on your um, online store creation here on Shopify. So which means once you have that option already to use the website or the header um, transparent, you can actually click on that so that you'll be able to enable the transparent header. Then you can just modify the um, how the header would look like. So you can modify it here, whether what font you'd use so that it would blend in or it would look good into the website that you're creating. So you have um, here a white text. You can uh, undo or enable and disable the um, transparent header, depending on how you would like the header to be that transparent. And that's basically, it. that's how you'll be able to create the transparent and a sticky header here on Shopify Dawn theme. And that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Bye.